Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. It's Doris at DF Designs. How's everybody tonight? It's good to see everybody here. I already got resin on my glove. How did I do this? I already got resin on my glove. Oh my God. I don't know how, ah, oh, an ad. Hello, Cheryl, and hello, Jeff. Nice to see you guys here. I am cleaning off my glove before I demold something. I don't believe I got resin on my glove already. I was working already on some resin projects earlier. Okay, this is what I'm making the first layer of this one tonight. This is the one. Whoops, let me make sure I'm getting it in the camera right. This is the one. Well, hello, Virginia. This is the one that I'm going to be trying to duplicate tonight three more times. But I'm going to try to get the lines a little bit better. <laughs> so, this is my resin beach coaster. So, anyway. Hail, fellow squirrel member. J Jeff B., but I haven't demolded this one yet, so I thought I would demold it real quick. This is one that I made over on Joe Patty's channel. I can't remember exactly what all we did that day. And hello, Melissa. These are coming out pretty nice. And I will show you the other side because this one didn't get a lot of the beads right there well you can see it's got some clear spots which is what I wanted it's got beads there and beads there you can see the beads more on the back this one's got a little couple of little flash pieces that I'm gonna have to get rid of I think they turned out cool. Anyway, I just wanted to demold these because I promised you. Well, hello, Mr. Chris. A.K.A. Bat Dad, which is pour me another. Y'all who don't know him, he used to have a channel called Desert Pours. And now he's got a channel called pour me another. Please go check out his channel. It's just as good as the other one was. <laughs> So anyway, um, okay, let me start mixing resin. I am just, I'm trying to use up, <coughs> excuse me, I'm trying to use up this um, pro glass. Oh man, my lag is really bad. Okay, anyway, um, I'm going to mix up 10 ounces because I don't know exactly. I'm thinking I did, last time I did 3 ounces per Per um, per um, coaster. Whoops. I went a little bit too far. That's okay. It goes back in. That's what I like about these silicone cups. Y'all, for those of you that do resin, well, even for you paint pours, go get some of these um, cups by um, Echo Art. There's, I, I'm not affiliated with them. Um, oops, still need to get rid of some more. Um, because everything comes off of here really good, even with the resin. Jeez, come on. That's what happens when I pour too much. You never pour too much, do you, Chris? <laughs> you pour just enough. Okay, now I gotta add back just a hair. And, well, hello, Angela, and hello, Julie, and Malu, hi. I haven't seen you for a while. It's nice to see you. I am so glad you guys are here. I might be going live tomorrow during the day 
because I, I can't go to Joe Patty's tomorrow like I do, usually do on um, um, Thursdays because um, I got, a, I got a, an appointment here in town. But I might go live tomorrow just to do the second layer. Come on. The resin part is always so slow. Takes forever to glug, glug, glug out. Where's my tin at? Oops, there it is. So anyway, um, yep, yeah, there we go. Thank you, Cheryl, yep. Um, you can put a tip in the chip dar. You can go over to Koi Fi and buy me a coffee or two or three. Um, or if you really want to support me, as you can see behind Julie's name and Cheryl's name, they are supporters. For as little as $2 a month, well, $1.99 really, um, you can um, become a member here. And you get little perks, like a little badge name. Although I'm thinking of redoing those name badges because I don't like the way they look. <laughs> so, um, you can do that. And then you get, to, you get a sneak peek at one or two videos a month before anybody else does. As a matter of fact, I've got another one coming up that I'm going to give to my um, members only for for about a, four or five days and I'm working on getting my Amazon wish list back together the way it should be because I had some really expensive stuff on there but that I don't need anymore so I just got to go in there and fix that so there was a, those are all the ways you can support my channel but you know what the biggest support is you guys here watching me I love that I love the thumbs up oh I got 11 of them and um, I, I like the comments I get and I, I do answer everyone I'm not that big of a channel yet I do have time to go in and answer any questions and I love doing giveaways on Sundays. Not doing a giveaway tonight, sorry, y'all. Uh, but um, every Sunday, I give away a painting. The winner just has to pay the shipping. Thank you, Malu. So, I, 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 love, I love having you guys here. And I love giving away stuff. And only one or two more times I think I'm going to be able to give away those little uh, cups. Because those cups are, um, they're becoming um, um, scarce around here. Okay, let me, um, shoot. Okay, I'll show you this one more time. I'm doing the first layer, which is the sand and the clear with the waves, tonight. Let me put him over there so I don't get any new resin on it. Um, uh, what was, oh, I was going to do some sand first, because I don't put a lot in the sand of the resin. Oh, cool, Chris. Yeah, that's right. I need to get a, 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 a one of your paintings. I don't have any of yours. Uh, I may have to do. I may have to mix more sand. I don't know if this is going to be enough for all three, but I don't want to fill it too full. And ah, uh, Robin. Robin, how you doing, honey? Did your uh, did your winning get there yet? I didn't, I didn't know if it got if it got there yet or not. Let me see if I'm missing anybody. Nope. 
Okay, I'm just going to get this sand just a little bit gooey so it sticks together. You don't need a lot of resin in there. And I think I'm going to do just two of them, and then if I have enough resin left, I can do the other ones. Well, hello, Miss Dina. Uh, you want to make sure you get all the sand in your cup coated with the resin. I don't know, I may have enough for all three. Okay. That's all you gotta do. Just put put your sand in a cup. Scoop it out. Oops, I'm not on. Maybe I am, I don't know. Everybody's still saying their hellos. But I like that. I like this community. But you know what? I don't have to put as much sand in it as I did before. Let me see. Let me see how much how much I got left in here. I just basically coated the sand a little bit so it'll stay together when I pour the resin in there, so none of it floats off. Oh, he already claimed it first. <laughs> I'm so, well, you know what? I almost know your grandson because you, everybody, Robin has been a supporter of my channel. She's been watching me for almost since the beginning. I think I only had like a hundred subscribers when she started watching me, when she found me. Well, next auction you'll just have to buy, buy one then. need that big of a beach and now I'm going to press it down so it kind of sticks because this is the back of it you're going to see the front but not the what's on the bottom is basically the front okay now First thing I want to do is clean my gloves off of sand. You're going to get sand everywhere when you do this. Now I'm going to pour just a little bit of the resin in here for my white. These are also little one ounce cups from um, 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 Echo Art. I'm not affiliated with them. I just love their stuff. Okay, now... Try to divide it up evenly. Yep. That's all she wrote. That's all I have. But that looks like enough in each of them to do the first layer with the waves. And hello, Miss Tish. And the other Tish. Okay, so I'm going to have to say Tish and nap time. Because that, let me tell you, that gets confusing. What did we used to say before, Tish? Did we call one of you Tish and Tish, tish number one and Tish number two? Okay. Oh. 
sat back on my chair and didn't realize where it was at. Okay, now, you don't want to put a lot of this in there. And I am going to pop bubbles. Wait a minute, let me... Let me even them, get them a little flatter. I don't know, it's, I think it's higher over there. It's not covering all the sand, but that's okay because there will be another layer tomorrow. You wanna shake this up really, really well. And you are, oh, there we go, his opening. Oh, I don't need that stick, that's from the sand. Okay, I'm gonna try to only put one drop in there. Well, let me scrape off that little bit that's up there. Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember how we used to call... I can't remember how we used to do that. Doesn't take a lot to do this. Now, I'm not using a piping bag. Sharon over at Vivid Days did a flower coaster the other day not using a piping bag. Uh, let me hit this with some bubbles. And nap time creations. What's my rule of thumb the first time I turn on my hair dryer? You blow it off to the side for five seconds to blow the dust boogers out. It also lets it heat up a little bit too because you don't want to blow dust boogers in there. I'm just going over it popping bubbles. I'll go over it again. And hello, Michael! Yep, MSC, yep. Yep, see, see, nap time creations. When she, we both started our channels right about the same time, and it was so cute, she gave me a shout out because she used to do that. And hello, Lisa Wyatt! Wow! Okay. Now, what I'm trying... Oh, my arm is probably blocking it, so hang on. Um, what I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to make thin lines up there and then thicker lines as I get to the bottom. And sometimes I like to have my wave not go all the way across in some spots. Okay, now let me see if I can get this one right here where I want it. Okay, I'm going to blow this one to show you. Um, yes, that is casting craft white. I'm sorry. I thought I showed, showed well, maybe you were, maybe I didn't. Um, um, it's casting craft white opaque. I'm on my second bottle of it because I've been using a lot of it. Now you don't want to, because it's in a mold, you don't want to turn your hair dryer to hot or to high. So it does take a little bit to get those wave lines to move. And I learned from the last one, which I'll show the latecomers at in a minute. Um, I learned from the last one, less is more. You don't want to do a whole lot of it.
and I lost my line right there. It went on up to the sand. Okay, what? What, what, um, what, um, um, video? Oh, you did the resin flower. I haven't gotten around to watching that one yet. There we go. I wanted it to be a bigger wave or bigger line of white right here near the sand. So it's like a, a big wave coming in. Okay, I'm gonna quit putzing with that. Okay, now, <laughs> let me get a, a paper towel with some alcohol to clean my gloves off. I've got t-shirt rags, but I got tired of um, using them. I do want to show you guys real quick. I mean, I'm going to do the other two, but I want to show the latecomers the one that I originally made. This, well, this is not the shape of the waves I'm going for, but this is what I'm trying to do. And what, what you can see is, well, see, that was a lot thicker, um, it looks like. Um, and then I did this on the back, and I'm going to uh, do this layer on these tomorrow on a live real quick. It'll be like a 10, 15 minute live. It won't be that long. And then I might even do a, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's, tomorrow's Wednesday. Is tomorrow Wednesday? Yeah, okay. And then Thursday, I'll try to do a live just to show, um, just to show, uh, uh, demold them so you guys can see how they turned out. Okay. Little lines. And then, nice bit, well, I can't hold the stick in there. These cups, that's the only problem with these cups is how short they are. And a nice little thick line right here. This one's already starting to look really, really good right here. Although, eh, I want to put just a little bit more right here. I'm loving what that's doing right there. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and put this resin in too. And you don't wanna make them all look the same. I might have just a little bit of white left, but I'm not going to put all of it in there yet. Oops, well, I got a dripper. I didn't really want one, but that's okay. Okay. Don't do it. Resin is the devil. Yeah, but, because once you start doing acrylic pouring, you'll get curious about resin.
I'm trying to push that that way. Come on, come on, move. There we go, there we go. There we go. Had to warm it up a little bit. It was being particular. Okay, now I'll do this one. I'm trying to... Okay, come on, come on, move already. There we go, now it's moving. I want to break up that line just a little bit. See this, this technique is not just for flowers, it's for other types of designs. Okay, I'm wondering if I should put more in. So, what do you guys think? You guys think I should put more white in these two, or do they look okay? Because remember, there's going to be blue on the back of them. Well, all, everybody says yes, or, says more or or no on that. I will bring these out because some of you latecomers didn't see these either. These are the coasters that I made over at Joe Patty's that day where I put the beads in it. Okay, nobody's commented yet. Should I put more white or no? Okay. Cheryl says they look good. Anybody think I should add more or what? Well, that's what I was... I know this one's got enough. I'm wondering if I should put more in there. I loved adding the beads in there. And I've got a ton of these beads in storage, so I'm probably going to be, um, um, okay, let me see. I see, uh, no, more, so that's one and one, a no, so that's two and one, um, two and two, I'm looking, uh, two and th three and two. Well, I'm going to, I do have a little bit more. I'm just going to try to go over just a little bit, just over the lines that I did, just to get a little bit more white in there and try blowing it out. I did want a little bit more movement on these. Okay. Yes, I love the beads in there, Cheryl. Okay. 
Okay, let's see if I can get this to blow out a little bit more. Okay, well, I think these little guys are going to sit, oh, these beads right here, Virginia, they're actually size 11 seed beads. If you've ever worked with seed beads, you know that, si well, here, let me see how close I can get it without it blurring. You can see the hole. I used to make beaded earrings, and I took some over to Joe Patty's. Wait a minute, Murder Bird. Oh, I had to hide the Chihuahua. Ha, ha, ha. But these are, um, wait a minute, I'll get one that's a little bit better. These are seed beads that I put in there. And these are gold, um, silver line seed beads. And they worked. Okay. I'm going to cover these little guys up. Well, I'm going to put them in my dust-free zone. Um, I don't think I'm going to put anything else in them. So, I'm going to be going live. Let me see. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Tish goes live at 7. So I think I'm going to go live at 6 for like 15, 20 minutes, you know, a short live, just to mix up the uh, resin and the, and the colors. Oh! <laughs> it just works that way. It just works that way, Malu. No, no, um, the, the mold is green, so there, there's, um, it's clear with the white, Lisa. And over here, it's, but it's a green, um, it's a green, um, um, mold. So, at 7 p.m., we're all going to head over to the Artist Haven. And she's got some sort of an experiment again tonight, I think. I'm not sure. Is that an experiment, Tish? And if you have the link, that would be great. That would be great if you have the link. And um, don't forget to check out everybody's channel. Um, Lisa Wyatt, AZ Rock Garden Designs, uh, Pour Me Another, Naptime Creations. Um, who else is here? Well, the Artist Haven. I'm trying to think who else has a channel here. You all should go... Um, but anyway, um, yeah, go check out their channels um, when you get a chance. They all do amazing work. Some of them do resin. Some of them do acrylic. Some of them do everything. And I'll be back tomorrow to do the blue la the, the blue water layer. And I guess all I could say is thank you for joining me. And I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you're brand new to the channel, I want to say welcome to you. And I want to say welcome back to all my favorite people, my subscribers, the ones that already subscribe. And don't forget to check down the description for all the stuff that I used, except I've got to put the, uh, I got to put the uh, um, um, link in there for um, these molds. And... All I can say is, um, there you go. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you very much, Cheryl. So, um, I'll be back tomorrow night, 6 p.m. I know I don't normally do a live on Wednesday, but I'm going to do it. And I might even do a live Thursday at 6 p.m. of demolding them, okay? So, thank you all for coming out. Y'all are awesome. You know what? 
I love not corgi butt. I love the resin right out of you guys. <laughs> not corgi butt. I, I was waiting for a couple people to say that, but no, no, not corgi butt. Um, so see you tomorrow night, 6 p.m. Central Time, right here, same place, same channel. And all I can say is, bye for now.